So here's a question. Yeah. With everything you just mentioned and talked about, mm -hmm. would you say that entrepreneurship is for anyone? No, man, because I didn't even, that was like 1%. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, no, bro. Why? You got to be a certain type of crazy, bro. Facts. You got to be a certain type of crazy to go navigate some uncharted waters first. It might say danger sharks, but you still got to swim. It might say this, or, this water had just had an oil spill. You still got to go swim through it. If your goal is on the other side of swimming through that water, like you have to go. You got to be a certain type of crazy because the path is just not sunshines, lilies, and Skittles. What do you think, though? Do you think it's for anybody? No. No, I don't. Um, it's funny you mentioned swimming through the water. Mm -hmm. I always give the analogy of track and field. One of mm -hmm. my favorite races is the hurdlers race because I think that's life. I think that's entrepreneurship. When you see the runners lined up, you think they're racing against each other. Right. And they're not. They're racing against time. And the hurdles represent the obstacles that they will come up on in life. Most people, average people, when they see the hurdle, they stop. Mm -hmm. But those of us who have been in entrepreneurship, who are passionate about what entrepreneurship can provide, we know that we have to jump the hurdle as fast as we can. Right. Because the hurdles will be there. Like, if you're... In entrepreneurship or you want to pursue entrepreneurship, the hurdles mm -hmm. will be there. Mm -hmm. You got to jump them as fast as you can. Mm -hmm. I don't think a lot of people are built like that, to be right. honest. I'll say this too. Like, I think social media has cheapened entrepreneurship as well, <laughs> you know, and it's hard because, and this is not to come at anybody, but- Right. Entrepreneurship is not putting out a post on social media and waiting for people to buy your product. Right. Like people see, people have seen my movements and the companies that I've built. And I will say that if they only knew what went behind the scenes of building something that just looks like an online fitness program, like, or what looks like a gym that's lit, you know what I'm saying? If you know what really goes into those things. And I think social media has skewed the understanding of what's entrepreneurship really is like I'll tell you like on the way to six figures right when you're on your way to five figures or six figures you're gonna have to navigate people believing in your little business you're gonna have to navigate being a new person you have to navigate friends and family not believing in you and you have to navigate your own mind and feeling like if you can do do these things and then I say and that's just like like I said everything is like a one percent two percent thing I'm thinking but when you're going like trying to go from six to seven figures you're going to be having to navigate shiny object syndrome scams bad investments People want to take advantage of you. Managing teams, managing personalities that aren't your own. You got <laughs> enough personalities. Try running a business and hiring employees, and you got to manage them, and then you got to train and bring leaders on, and then you're trying to go from seven to eight figures, and you got to sustain. And what if you have a big boom, and then that was just a boom, and now you got to level out and really do business, and now you're dealing with this and that and taxes and all these other things that come with running a business, which we're going to go deeper into. But it's like it's not for everybody. Now, I do truly believe that entrepreneurs are born like and I feel like you be I feel like you can become one. But if you become one, it was already in you. You just needed a little right. bit of a push or a little bit of more of an understanding of who you really are. Yeah. And some people just know from the gate like, yo, I'm entre like me. I knew from the gate entrepreneur. Like, I can't even deal with someone telling me like how I would have to operate eight hours a day. Like that literally, like I, cause I'm the type of dude, like to this day, I go sleep in my car. That's the dangerous part about me is I'm already okay with that to this day. Yeah, bro. Like I'm not, I, I would go sleep in my car. I would rent a room. I would do to not have to answer. I just would. That may not work for some people, but that is me. And that, that's just the, the, the notion that I have, or I'm going to have to build. Like I have to build, mm -hmm. like I'm a builder. And I really believe that God has put things in us that have been suppressed. Like we are very creative people. Like everything that you've ever done, you never really known. Like think about it. everything that you've learned so much. Mm -hmm. That means you can learn more. That means you can do more. Like when you were infant to now, you had to learn things. I'll tell you, I'll give you one up, right? When you become an adult, I believe we actually become dumber because there's no accountability of learning. So I really feel like a lot of adults are still just grown children waiting for someone to tell them what to do. Yeah. And if you don't get told what to do, you have these lapses in your mind where you just really don't know what to do. So I, I knew that and I'm like, mm, maybe I should just be a continuous learner. You know what I'm saying? And then for me to grow, I have to continuously learn. And if I learn, anything that I'm doing should be amplified because I'm continuously learning.